Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by allfreejewelrymaking.com and keepsakecrafts.net. Today we're going to be making this pretty in pink earrings and bracelet set. If you've been watching any of my videos for a while, you know usually I go for stuff that's a little bit more chunky. But this set happens to be a gift for somebody who likes things a little more dainty. So I thought I would show you how easy it is to make uh, a pretty simple set with just a few beads and just a few supplies. So stick around and I'll show you how to do it. So for today's project, the supplies you'll need are two ear wires, two head pins, two beads and four seed beads for the earrings. For the bracelet, you'll need a 7.5 to 8 inch length of chain. Uh, your choice of a number of beads, I have 7 here, we'll see how many I actually end up putting on. Head pins, the same number as beads you'll put on. A jump ring, a lobster clasp, and of course some beads. I actually took my cue from the way this strand of beads was sold with the seed beads in between and I thought it kind of smoothed them out and just made them just a little bit nicer, daintier. For tools, you'll need two pairs of chain nose pliers, a pair of round nose pliers, and a pair of wire cutters. So, let's get started. So, to make our earrings, we'll start with a head pin, and we're just going to slide on one little seed bead, our main bead, and another seed bead. Just like that. Go ahead and grasp the head pin right above the second seed bead with just the very tips of your chain nose pliers. The reason we do that is we want the smallest amount of empty head pin as possible uh, above the second bead. So we'll then just go ahead and bend Squeeze tight so it doesn't pop off. Go ahead and bend your head pin at a 90 degree angle. And you do have to have a little space. You can't have none. Otherwise you have no place to put your round nose pliers when you grab that. So go ahead and tuck the very tips of the round nose pliers right in that corner. And wrap your head pin around to start the hanging loop. You can only get about this far, so go ahead and reposition your round nose pliers and then you can finish the wrap. Most of the time when you finish a wrap it will be canted off to the side like that and that's okay, we'll fix that in a moment. Just finish that loop, grab your wire cutters and cut it right where the wire meets itself. And then use your round nose pliers first to flatten that out. And then go ahead and grasp the loop. <laughs> Having a little trouble seeing today. There we go. And straighten that out so that your dangle will dangle straight down. You'll repeat that for your second dangle. And then open out your ear wire. Pop the loop on. And close it up. Is that not the easiest earring ever? And then go ahead and repeat for your second earring. So, you can see I've gone ahead and made the second earring. Aren't they sweet? And so, very easy and quick. You could whip up a pair of these in minutes. Especially if you need a last minute gift. For the bracelet, we're going to start with a seed bead on a head pin, add one of our main beads, and then go ahead and repeat the process for making a loop with our head pin. So I'm going to go ahead and make several. Now, the difference between these dangles and the earring dangles is I just don't have the seed bead at top. But of course, you can set them up however you like. Make them as simple or as fancy as you like using spacers, stacking beads on top of each other. But go ahead and make as many dangles as you think you'll want for your bracelet. 
and I'm going to do that and I'll be back when they're all done. So you can see I've gone ahead and made actually a total of eight bead dangles. I'm going to put this one on the end. That will give a little bit of weight to the bottom side of the bracelet so it won't be so apt to do that aggravating business of slipping around your wrist and leaving the clasp on top. And you just go ahead and take a minute to lay out your bracelet and I can see here that I'm going to put a bead dangle every fourth chain and you simply use your chain nose pliers to twist open your loop. It's a good idea to get the loops shaped nicely first, then open them. Slip it on your chain and then close it up. Once you've done that, go ahead and use a jump ring and a lobster clasp and you're all set. You have a beautiful set of earrings and a bracelet, wonderful for yourself for a gift. So here's the bracelet all done. I just thought I'd show you how it looks on while you're wearing it. And by cutting 8 inches of chain, you have this nice long length to put the dangle on. Like I said, that helps keep it balanced and more in position. So here's another look at our finished set. I hope you've enjoyed this project and you'll give it a try. Be sure to check out KeepsakeCrafts.net for lots more jewelry making, sewing, and other crafting ideas and inspiration. Thanks for watching.